Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded region uh, fully confined uh, in a circle with the center O, oh, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this called uh, AB is 13 units. This segment uh, CD is 18 units. And finally, this segment AC is 6 units. And moreover, these uh, angles are our 90 degree angles. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. I am going to drop a perpendicular from the center O on this uh, chord AB. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have dropped this perpendicular uh, OF uh, on this uh, chord uh, AB. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius uh, of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then uh, radius uh, bisects the chord. So therefore, we can see that this uh, OF is going to bisect uh, this chord AB into two equal parts. Uh, the first part uh, is uh, AF and the other part is uh, BF. And now we can see that this whole chord AB is 13 units. So therefore this uh, AF length is going to be 13 divided by 2 and this uh, BF length is going to be 13 divided by 2 units uh, as well. If this uh, segment uh, AF is 13 divided by 2, then this uh, CE segment is going to be 13 divided by 2 units uh, as well. And now we know that this uh, whole uh, CD length uh, is uh, 18 and this uh, CE length uh, is uh, 13 divided by 2. So therefore, uh, this uh, ED length uh, is going to be 18 minus uh, 13 divided by 2 and here if we subtract uh, these numbers that is going to give us uh, 23 divided by 2 so therefore uh, this segment uh, ED is uh, 23 divided by 2 units and now let's make uh, another observation we can see that this uh, AC length is uh, 6 so therefore uh, this uh, EF length uh, is going to be 6 units as well and finally, let's assume that this uh, tiny segment uh, EO is uh, X uh, units. So therefore, this uh, OF length uh, is going to be 6 uh, plus X. So therefore, I can write this one as X uh, plus 6 uh, units. And here's our next step. This time, I have connected this center O with this uh, point uh, B. And now we can see this uh, OB is the radius uh, of this uh, circle. So I'm going to label this radius as lowercase r. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OFB. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, lowercase r and our two other legs are uh, x plus 6 and 13 divided by 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. In our case, a is uh, x plus 6 whole square plus uh, our b is 13 divided by 2 whole uh, square equals to our radius uh, r square and I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number one and here's our next step this time I have connected this center O with this uh, point uh, D and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, O D is the radius uh, of this circle as well so I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase r and moreover, uh, this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OED. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. A square plus B square equal to C square. In our case, our hypotenuse is lowercase r. Our one leg is uh, x. The other leg is 23 divided by 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x uh, square plus uh, 23 divided by 2 whole 
square equal to our radius uh, r square and now I am going to label this as equation uh, number uh, 2 and here we are ended off with these uh, two equations 1 and 2 and now we are going to compare these uh, two equations we can see our right hand sides uh, are identical r square so therefore we can equate uh, the left hand sides uh, as well so therefore uh, we can write this one as uh, x uh, plus 6 uh, whole uh, square plus uh, 13 uh, divided by 2 whole uh, square is going to be equal to x uh, square plus uh, 23 divided by 2 whole uh, square and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the left hand side so therefore this binomial is could be written as uh, x square plus uh, 12 x plus 6 square is 36 and the square of this fraction is 169 divided by 4 is going to be equal to x square plus the square of this is 529 divided by 4 and now we can see this x square and this x square are gone so therefore we are ended up with the 12x plus 36 plus 169 divided by 4 equals to 529 divided by 4 and now I am going to move all these uh, constant uh, on the other side so therefore we can write uh, 12x uh, equals to 529 uh, divided by 4 minus uh, 169 divided by 4 and then minus uh, 36 and now we are going to tweak this uh, 36 36 could be written as uh, if I multiply 4 and divide by 4 at the same time that's going to become 144 divided by 4 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, 36 uh, by this uh, 144 divided by 4 and this way we have got this uh, 4 as our common denominator so therefore this could be written as 12x equals to 529 minus 169 minus 144 all over 4 and if we simplify once again 12x is going to be equal to 216 divided by 4 if we simplify the right hand side and now we can see that 216 divided by 4 is going to give us uh, 54 on the right hand side and now I'm going to divide both sides by 12 12 on this side and 1 divided by 12 I'm going to multiply on the right hand side and here we can see 12 and 12 is gone so therefore x value turns out to be 9 uh, divided by 2 units so thus our this uh, x value turns out to be 9 divided by 2 and now let's focus on this uh, equation 2 and here I have copied down equation 2 over here and now I am going to substitute this uh, x value as uh, 9 divided by 2 over uh, here as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, x by 9 divided by 2 over here and now we are going to simplify that is going to give us uh, 81 uh, divided by 4 plus uh, 529 divided by 4 equals to r square so therefore we can write this thing r square equals to 81 plus uh, 529 all over 4 and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 610 divided by 4 and finally I'm going to take the square root to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both sides so therefore here we can see our radius r is going to be equal to square root of uh, 610 uh, divided by 2 units so thus our radius turns out to be square root of 610 divided by 2 units and that's going to be approximately equal to 12.35 units as well Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.